having somebody else eating for a change instead of just me <laughs> eating on the block for 11 straight minutes. Um, Zach, I want to talk about two very important things. Which are? Uh, the, mic the new microphones. Yeah. And the cronut. <laughs> <laughs> we have well, two very important things to discuss. <laughs> two very important things. Well, first of all, we are now wearing... Between the Chris two of us. and I are wearing two microphones apiece. Four microphones, you guys, between the two of us. So, yeah. Uh, so, tell us why we're wearing four mics between the two of us. Well, it's not my fault. It just happened no. to happen. Happened to happen. It just happened to happen. On me, which was my mic. I love it, freak out, and got all weird and staticky and crazy. Right at the beginning of the show. Right at the beginning of the show. I was doing um, first impressions, I think. Uh huh. And, um, There's no escape route, so neither of no. us have any logical reason to leave the stage. We never leave the stage. Well, I leave the stage one time. When but I it's, like the it's like 60 minutes into yeah, the it's show. well into the show. So, um, yeah, so then they thought, well, we need to have an insurance policy, and that is to wear... But tell us, about what ha tell us about what well, happened. Which, by the way, I heard... Well, no, it just... So, so okay, Blake I'll tell you what happens. So we are about to freeze. We're going into a freeze, and... Here, I'm going to turn this around. And then Blake comes uh, right before the freeze and says... Zach, you need to leave. Zach, you need to go downstairs right now. Yeah. So well, it's gonna freak me out a little bit. I was yeah. like, what the hell is going on? Because I can't get very, us both in here. Very unorthodox. Here, I'll, I'll sit up. <laughs> no, I'll do that. Okay. So, um, so then Zach leaves, and he's my only scene partner. He's literally the only person yeah. in the whole show that I'm allowed to talk to. Well, that's not true. You can talk to the waiter. A little right. Bit. Well, what? That's so. <laughs> so the freeze is about to end, and the song's ending, and I'm going, oh my god, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. No. And um, he is not there, and the lights don't really come back on because we're not really sure what to do. So then Blake comes over to me and starts talking to me, and he's like, "How's your date going?" And we're just ad libbing stupid stuff. Yeah. But they didn't really have your mics on, right? No, or, our marks, marks weren't really on, and the lights weren't really on, yeah. so we didn't know what we were supposed to do. So Finally, I mean, it had stop. to have been 45 seconds of just, just dead. dead time. And the audience is like silent, just on bated breath. No. And I, then all of a sudden I hear Zach bum, 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 yeah. just running up the, up the stairs, tearing up the stairs, sits down. He's like sweaty. He's like, looks like he's seen a ghost. And then he says, Sorry, sometimes when I get really nervous, I get diarrhea. <laughs> Which kill? Which kill? <laughs> I don't know. You had to. I you gotta mean, say something. I mean, the audience knew. Well, no, so, but some that's of them the didn't thing. know. Some, some so didn't afterwards, know I said, Zach, you, you're gonna have to like do some clarification because they're they don't know why you went downstairs. They're gonna think that you actually had diarrhea and left in the middle of the scene. No, I think some people thought. I, I think a lot of people actually knew that something was up. Yeah, but they didn't know what was up, and what could be up is that no. you had explosive diarrhea in the middle of the show. So the other thing is about the cronut. Yeah. Um, Zach and I had our first cronut yesterday, and we are putting it out into the world. We want more cronuts. Well, to be fair, I had my first cronut. Yeah, and, and I... you came and poached it, a bite. It, but it was the perfect timing. I happened to be next door in my dressing room, and I happened to walk inside, and he happened to be eating it. And yeah. I... We happened to like each other enough that he offered me a bite. Talk Actually, no, I asked for a bite, but you gave it to me. No, I was absolutely. I was gonna give you a bite anyway. Um, and here's the thing, people at home. I don't know <clears throat> that every cronut is the same. I don't know what the flavor selection is. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know which one I got. I got you got coconut. Friends. Oh, it was coconut. Yep. It was coconut. I found that's, out. That's right. It was coconut. Because we couldn't identify it. But if every cronut, a crow cronut. <laughs> I can't vouch for every other flavor, but I will tell you that that coconut cronut, that co cronut, the co cronut, was like you guys. Like if angels, we should have publicizing sex it and gave birth to a pastry <laughs> on high in the heavens. That would be what it was. I, I, it think, was I think what you just said is highly inappropriate, but completely accurate. It's not. It's the best. I it it changed my life, you guys. It changed my life. Changed I haven't thought about life. anything else for the I past 24 hours way, and i am not i'm not a pastry i'm not a pa i'm not a big pastry guy nor am i somebody to just give credit where credit is uh, of course or I like don't jump on hype. Wagons. yeah no i don't do any of that Zach everybody's talking about this corona thing i make bad <laughs> everybody's talking about these cronuts i'm like yeah. it's ridiculous can't be worth it totally so worth, worth it. it so worth it thank god his friends waited in the three hour line for us because I, I don't know if i'm ever going to get girls. one ever Appreciate again that. yeah shout them out um, it was, 
One of the most incredible experiences of my entire life. Thank you.